Hi, Ariel. I know your daddy. I don't know his name. It's really Jason with a D. He, I found his corny little puppets. and I guess I've been watching him now for about a year or so. Um, I live in a 30-foot travel trailer. 30 feet is about, oh, probably about six times as long as you are. And it's seven feet wide, so it's probably about, uh, the width is probably about as tall as you are, plus a couple of feet. Um, basically in a parking lot in a small town in rural New Mexico. And I don't have running water, and I can't afford to move. So, I'm here. So, oh, I'll show you my trailer. There's my old pickup truck. That table is where I wash my dishes. You guys should be closer to the mic. That table is where I wash my dishes. There's a barbecue I found in the trash. Isn't that nice? Over here is where I dry my dishes and where I do a lot of stuff. You know, just stuff. So, this is my trailer. Um, and I put up a army parachute for shade and protection from the weather. And I hold it up with um, these tarps. So it's really rainproof and stuff. And it's very, it's a lot more comfortable than the rest of the neighborhood because I've got lots of shade. And over here, if I can show you, uh, without dropping my thing in the ice, I don't think I can show you. I made a homemade, um, I made a homemade um, 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 cat and dog food thing. So um, there's a video for it. I'll, I'll leave a link so your daddy can show it to you. So, I don't have much money. Oh, let me start to show you Chaco. Because he's acting silly right now. That's Chaco. He's 20 years old. And down here is Osa. And there's other ones too, but I don't know where they are. Well, Ivan is hiding. He's under there. Can you see him? Ivan. See him? That's Ivan. Weasel. I was going to show you my dog if he could. There's Ivan. So, um, the reason I'm making this video, well, you know what's going on in your life. I don't have to tell you and how scary it is and all that stuff. And, um, your dad, oh my gosh, your dad. So, don't worry about your dad. It's not your job to worry about your dad. You hear me? Don't worry about your dad. Your dad's going to be okay. Your dad's got a lot of people and your dad's going to be okay. But right now, it's a pretty scary time. So, here's the thing. As you can probably figure out, uh, there's not going to be any money coming for me because there isn't any money here. Um, and people have been sending me money that I'm saving up so I can move out if I can find a safe place to live uh, that I can afford. So, uh, in the meantime, I made this place as much fun as I could. That pool, there's turtles in it. Three little baby turtles are about this big. I wish I could show them to you, but they're underneath the fountain. Um, so, let's see. So, I can't send you any money. But what I did when you guys wanted to go to Hogwarts was I told a bunch of people. And I made videos and I posted them around on the internet. On Facebook and, you know, the whole thing. And uh, a bunch of people that I know that actually have houses that aren't on wheels and can actually take hot showers and stuff like that, they sent money. Um, and so I didn't actually, like, put a dollar bill in your hand, but I'm real proud of the fact that um, people I know sent more money than I ever could have. I wanted to tell you something. See, I'm what's called an activist. <coughs> I believe in social justice for people, especially people who don't really get to speak up much for themselves, like people with disabilities. Like, I have brain injuries. Um, and people with mental health issues. And um, people like atheists who might be scared to say, well, I don't believe in God. Like in the town I'm in, I have to be in the closet because if anybody knew... 
they would like it at all. There's a lot of things about me they don't they don't need to know. Like I'm queer. Um, so I do a lot of work online because I can't do anything out here. I'm like miles and miles and miles away from any place where I could be useful, like any kind of community centers or organizing places. So I do all my work on the internet. Um, it's just how I can do stuff. And because I, there's no work out here, um, I have time to do that. So it's my way of paying back and it's my way of paying for the food stamps I get. And um, even though I paid into Social Security Disability and that's what I live on, I think that I need to pay back into um, the community. So there's a lot of people who can't speak up for themselves. And um, um, I do some work with that on the, on the interwebs. Um, like with videos and with um, Facebook and, you know, Tumblr, stuff like that. Well, one of the places that I work is um, World Homeless Action Day on Facebook. And they organize uh, events all around the world once a year in October um, to raise people's awareness of how hard it is to be homeless. Um, like now they're making laws that it's illegal to sit down or lie down or eat in a park or use public toilets. You can get arrested for that because they want the homeless people to go away. It's also illegal to feed homeless people in a group. Like take a big soup pot to the park with a bunch of bowls and spoons and give away free soup. That's illegal now in a lot of places. So I do a lot of work with that because things are really hard right now and the economy is really bad and a lot of people who never ever thought they'd ever be homeless in their whole lives well it's happening so your daddy told a story that you got twenty dollars from your grandma and you gave it to a guy you were worried about that you saw standing on the street in the rain so Ariel I know you'll understand what I'm going to do here. I mean, I'll help spread the word about getting some funds so that you and your mom can go to New York and so that your dad can take care of business and hospital bills and that kind of stuff. I'll help with that. But Ariel, this is my promise to you. For the rest of my life, when I work with people who are homeless, and sick and mentally ill and frightened and hurt I'm gonna do it for you too because I know you would do it if you could and it makes me very proud to know that you did that thing for that guy so um, just so you know the next time I buy a hamburger or a Coke for a guy who's trying to hitchhike to get the heck out of this town like I did the other day or uh, the next time I get up in some politician's face and say, say you can't treat us like this I want you to know that I'm gonna say that I'm doing it for Ariel too okay I've grown really fond of you over this past year and I don't even know you. And I have a lot of respect for you. And your dad. And I don't know the rest of your family, but they got to be pretty bodacious also. So thank you for being part of my life. It's nice to know you. And it's nice to know you're out there. I saw your beads. One for every procedure. Wow. Wow. Okay, well, from a total and complete stranger who doesn't know you and you don't know me and all that stuff, thank you. Much love. Much love, girl. Much respect. Give you props. Hug your dad for me. Hug your whole family for me. If it doesn't hurt. If it hurts, don't do it. Um, so, the next hamburger I'm giving away, it's going to have your name on it, okay? See ya. Bye.